Peace on the Sag Moon Diva. For those of you all that are new, for those of you that are returning, thank you guys so much for coming back. Thank you so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, subscribes, of course, as well as you guys keeping your girl booked and busy, okay, with the personal readings, as well as the donations. You guys are so appreciated. Thank you so, so much for everything. So I am going to be doing some mini reads for the month of June for each sign. And now I'm, of course going to be reading for the Capricorns, okay? And I want to see what messages, okay, do you all need to know what things are coming towards you with these predictions for the month of June. Oh, wow. So we already have some Chinese fortune messages that are coming through. Oh, okay. We got straight to the point, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, so we got straight to the point here, all right? You guys are definitely going to be traveling a lot, okay, in the month of June. Some of you all could be traveling maybe to meet someone, or you could be traveling just for leisure, okay? Or some of you all could be moving at this time, okay, moving to a new location, all right? And you also have the spirit symbol here, and this is all about speaking up for or sticking up for yourselves, okay? And you also have the beautiful card here. All right, some of you all are really have stepped into this energy here where with this beautiful card, this is basically this energy of where you're feeling good, you're looking good, and other people are noticing this as well. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a time where you all are going to be traveling, maybe traveling to beautiful destinations. And of course, you guys are also with that spirit symbol where you all are learning to stick up for yourself. So I want to actually go ahead and get into some more messages so that uh, this can come together a bit more. So I'm going to go with the tea leaf, okay? Let's get some more good fortune. Let's see. What are the most important messages that needs to come through? What needs to come through the most for the Capricorn at this time, please? What needs to come through? Wow. So the first card that you guys have here is the broken wishbone. Okay. There is some type of wish that you all have been wanting and the cards are saying that this particular wish is not going to be granted. Okay. And this, oh, wow. Some of you all have the gavel card here as well. Okay. Some of you all could be dealing with the Libra. I'm getting, I don't know, I've been getting a strong Libra sense here with my earth signs. Okay. Let's take a look here. All right. With this uh, broken Wishbone was the first one, of course, is saying wishes not being granted, okay? And right after this, you have this gavel card. Okay, for some of you all, there could be something involving the law, all right? Some of you all could be going to law school, could be graduating from law school, and this could also be a symbol that somebody may be getting in trouble with the law, okay? And it is saying this fly card is here is all about a period of ill health and depression. Wow, so some of you all are definitely unfortunately going to be experiencing some crazy times right now all right but this is going to lead you all to a whole new level of spiritual development okay you have this torch card here all about enlightenment awareness and understanding i feel like for some of you all there is something that you all are going to be going through that is actually going to be starting out as a disadvantage, but in the end, it's going to be something that is going to be an advantage for you. I feel like there's something you're going to learn from this. Maybe there was someone that was constantly getting in trouble or somebody that was going through a lot. And then you all had to sit into this moment of sadness, this moment of depression. And this is where you started having your spiritual enlightenment, starting to understand where you were going wrong in life and maybe turning you all's life around because you also have the boot card here. It says, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Okay. So I feel like some of you all, you were allowing your past to hold you back. Okay. And now it is saying that you need to stick up for yourselves. All right, I, I get a strong feeling some of you all are in some of this. Some of you all are around negative energy, around negative people. All right, feeling as if this is what you deserve. But I feel like some of you all are coming out of this, all right, changing. Because here's the thing, when you achieve, when you increase your efforts and you start looking at life differently, then those type of people, that type of energy is no longer welcomed in your life. So I feel like for some of you all, this is a moment where things are definitely going to be changing for you. I feel like travel is something that's going to help some of you all dealing with depression or dealing with uh, hard times. Getting away, really 
getting away from a situation in order for you to start seeing life more clearly. So I want to go ahead and get into these tarot cards and see what messages come through. Yeah, some of you all are definitely going through some hardship right now. Some of you, I feel, those of you that could possibly be in trouble with the law, it is the result of having people that were fake friends. Okay, some of you all may have had some issues that are going on in regards to a, di a divorce. Okay, some of you all could be going through a divorce. This could be where it goes with the law. Okay, speaking of the law situation, I feel like there could have been a misunderstanding. Somebody's in trouble because of a misunderstanding. All right, and there's also some people now that are feeling as if they are unsatisfied in a love relationship, okay? Because you do have this two of cups here in the reverse. I'm telling you all, some of you all have definitely found out that you had some issues with some people that are not your friends. All right, you got that three of cups card here. I feel like you're you're healing from something, some type of some type of drama that you're healing from. And a lot of you all are learning at this time that you need to start compromising. All right, you need to start watching a company that you keep. All right, and you need to start pulling back, pulling back your energy from certain people. Yeah, because I feel like some of you all definitely made some type of a mistake. There's some type of a loss. Some of you all experienced some type of a loss or maybe a differences of opinion. You got the nine of cups here. Some of you all could be dealing with the water sign, could be a, a Pisces, could be a Cancer, could be a Scorpio. But I'm telling you, somebody is very suspicious. Here's the thing. Y'all got some fake people around y'all. I'm telling you. You got that queen of coins there in the reverse. All right. This is your energy. This is earth energy. Okay, Capricorn. All right. You got that queen of coins, but it's in the reverse. Some of you have definitely found out you had some people you could not trust around you. You had people that were very trifling. I'm talking about vicious, vicious people that have, may have purposely gotten you in trouble with the law. They have caused you all this type of ill health and depression trying to stay with somebody when the situation just wasn't working. I'm getting that no matter how much effort you tried to put into something, nothing worked. But then I feel like the only thing that some of you all had left to do was to turn towards spiritual development and enlightenment in order for you to understand that this situation wasn't healthy for you. Yeah, I definitely feel like some of you all were in very unhealthy relationships. Some of you all are missing people very badly. This is a time in which there's going to be a lot of missing, a lot of longing, a lot of reflections, looking at the past, all right? I feel like some of you all are looking at past mistakes or past situations and you're wanting things to change. Yeah. Some of you all could be looking to your childhood, looking at nostalgia. All right. Looking at images of things and what they used to be. All right. Some of you may have come to terms. All right. That's that six of cups energy. Some of you may have come to terms with the fact that you need to let the past go. Just write it off as a loss. There's something in your life that you realize that you needed to write off as a loss. Yeah, it's all about letting go. Letting go. Well, like some of you all are letting something go no matter how hard it works. It, it hurts. Mm, let me see. Wow. Let me see. Look at that, yeah. Some of you all could be letting go of a fire sign. Some of you all could be letting go of an air sign. I'm getting Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm telling you all, some of you all are definitely dealing with a Libra. Yeah, but there's exciting news that is coming your way. I feel like something has fueled you all's passion. All right, something has fueled you all's passion. I feel like in the past, there was a lot of things that you all started, but you never finished. But now you're stepping into this fire energy, okay? With that page of wands there. That page of wands is all about finishing what you started, okay? Being very enthusiastic, coming out of that depression, coming out of that negative energy because you got new and exciting opportunities that are headed your way, okay? I feel like for some of you all, you could have an air sign that is coming towards you, all right? Or I feel like this is a time where you all are starting to speak up. All right, we went, you mentioned this earlier, sticking up for yourselves. I feel like you all are in this energy now where you're not allowing anybody to do or say anything to you where in the past you wouldn't say nothing. Now you all are starting to be more blunt, okay? You all are starting to say exactly what it is that you feel because you're getting the information you need. All right, I feel like you all are gonna be receiving some news that you may not wanna hear. And also, I feel like you all need to be very careful when it comes to documents. Be careful about what it is that you sign, 
All right, be careful of the company that you keep. I'm getting a strong sense of being very careful of the company that you keep. All right, in particular, I feel like some of you all may need to be very mindful of someone in your energy could possibly be a buyer side. All right, I'm getting a strong Aries sense here, all right? And this is somebody that could be very controlling. All right, so definitely watch that energy and make sure that you never underestimate your abilities, all right? Your abilities to make dreams come true. I feel like for some of you all, you need a strong balance in your life, all right? In your career life as well as in your personal life, there needs to be some type of a balance there. Yeah, you're getting into the energy of realizing that you need to believe in yourself and know that there's nothing that you all cannot do. Some of you all are definitely have a fear of flying, a fear of change, a fear of cutting people off and leaving them in the past. So I feel like in the month of June, this is what you're going to work on. Building your confidence and stepping out there. Okay, step de oh, definitely was speaking to stepping out there. You got the two of wands energy here, and this is all about taking that next step. Okay, I feel like for some of you all, you are in this situation now where you're just saying, you know what, no matter what's going on, I'm going to continue to move forward. I'm going to press on and whatever it is, because you all know that in the end, a lot of you all were basically in this feeling as if i feel like some of y'all were dealing with a lack of confidence okay you have this eight of swords here i feel like you all were in this energy where you were feeling like the odds were stacked against you where you were being very afraid to take action take responsibility for your life but this card is all about you know waking up taking those blindfolds off and realizing you need to take responsibility for your life i feel like for some of you all you face the fact that yeah you may have made mistakes in the past but now i'm ready for a new okay for some of you all this could have been in the past where you had really relationships where you you may have made the mistake of choosing people that weren't right for you but now you're coming into this energy where you're going to be meeting somebody some of you all you could be having a water sign i keep getting a strong water sign energy okay there's definitely going to be a water sign for some of you all that's coming towards you okay you have the knight of cups there's somebody that's going to be coming towards you it could be very flirtatious very romantic this is a period where some of you all will be falling in love and being swept off your feet and then i'm telling you that's going to be a sudden love affair some of you all are definitely going to be meeting someone that is going to be the one OK, this is going to be a type of person that is going to be all into the arts, into poetry for some of you. This is somebody that's going to come in and balance out a relationship or a situation. Hmm, I want to go ahead and see if I can close this off with the Romance Angels as well as the Lover's Oracle. Let's see what messages need to come through for this. Knight of Cups, please. Give me that Knight of Cups reading, please. What needs to come through? Wow. That's what it is. Some of you all are cutting out somebody. Some of you all are cutting out somebody. There's some type of a separation that's taking place. Some of you all realize you were dealing with someone that was... <clears throat> excuse me oh somebody that's definitely not speaking up either some of you all are pulling away from an unhealthy relationship you're leaving it behind okay and when you all leave that behind something's new coming in you got a soulmate energy here we also have the honeymoon card here about enjoying the bliss of holiday time i feel like there was someone that you all had to cut off there's some lesson that you all are needing to learn in order to end something that is unhealthy so that something new could come in. It says a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. Yeah, there's somebody that's coming into your energy that is going to give you what it is that you all have realized you've been missing. It says, don't make mistakes based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Yeah, staying with people out of obligation, not being happy in situations. I feel like for some of you all, you stayed because you compromised or you compromised in a situation because you wanted to make the other person happy. Now you're realizing it's time for you all to make yourselves happy. This is where that spiritual enlightenment is coming from. Last card, it says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Some of you all, you're learning to take your time. 
and let your relationships be slow cookers where you'll have that moment where you are taking your time and you're getting to know someone and you wanted to make sure that you and this person mesh because you don't want to make the same mistakes that you made in the past. Mistakes that have caused you a lot. All right. It caused you a lot. Some of you all, it cost you being involved with the law. It caused you all ill health and depression in relationships where you were standing something just because you wanted to please the other person. And you all are starting to give these people from the past the boot because they're no longer serving in your life. You got that flame energy. You got that torch. Some of you all could be dealing with an uh, fire sign. I feel like some of you all truly are cutting out a fire sign or there's a fire sign that's coming towards you. And you know that if you don't make these moves, then your wishes for a new life will not be granted because you'll be still dealing with that same energy from the past. If you all enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, on the Sag Moon Diva, if you guys are interested in personal reading, you can find that information down below in the description as well as pinned in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye Capricorns.